Alrighty guys, so for this dish cloth, I'm going to be using roasted weight cotton yarn. I've chosen Ricochet Dishy and I will link it down below. I'm also going to be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. You can use whatever yarn, whatever hook that you prefer. Um, and you can chain any number of stitches. This is really just a pattern that while it's written for a specific size and a specific age, you can very easily adjust that to accommodate to be whatever that you would like. Um, I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. And then I'm going to chain 26 stitches. Now, like I said, there is not a specific stitch count that you have to have for the stitch cloth. Um, but I like the size that 26 chains gets me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to yarn over and pull through and repeat that process until I have a total of 26 chains. <music> Alrighty, here is my chain. For row one, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the second chain from the hook. So we're going to skip this chain, look into this next one, and I'm going to work a half double crochet into that chain. And then I'm going to work a half double crochet in each stitch across. So again, yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull up the loop, yarn over, and pull through three loops. And we're going to repeat that all the way down our chain until we get to the very end. Okay, there's row one, super simple. Now for row two, we are going to work a half double crochet in each stitch across, and we're going to re repeat row two until our dishcloth is as long as we want it to be. So I prefer my dishcloths or washcloths or whatever to be square, um, but you can easily make them into a rectangle or whatever size, but we're gonna repeat this row until it's as big as we want it to be. So again, chain one and turn, and then simply work a half double crochet in each stitch across just like so and that is it for row two and then we're going to repeat this row until our dishcloth is as long as we want it to be um, i'm going to work a total of 15 rows and then once i finish those 15 rows i will come back and show you how to work the border Alrighty, so I have finished my 15 rows, which also means that my dishcloth is square. A super simple way to test this is just to bring this top corner down to the bottom edge and ensure that you have a perfect triangle. And if you do, then you know that it is square. Alrighty, so now I'm going to add a single crochet border to my dishcloth. This is completely optional. You do not have to do it. Um, I really like the way that it looks though, so I like to add it to most of mine. I'm going to do this by um, just leaving my yarn attached exactly how it is, and I'm going to start by going straight down this side. So I'm going to turn my dishcloth so that I'm going to work down the row side here. I'm going to place a single crochet in this first half double crochet, and then I'm going to aim to place three stitches per two rows, um, and that's just going to help the side lay nice and straight. So I'm going to evenly place my single crochet stitches, um, again aiming to place three stitches per, per two rows. Okay, I'm to the corner. I'm going to place three single crochet stitches in this corner. Um, to round it out and make it nice and sharp. And then I'm just going to place one single crochet in each stitch across my foundation chain. Um, and then I'll just repeat that again. So then I'll work um, up the opposite side of the dishcloth and then up at the top placing one single crochet per stitch. And then I will meet back here to finish off our dishcloth completely. Alrighty, I finished up the border and went ahead and cut my yarn and just pulled that in through to finish it off. Now I'm just going to grab my yarn needle and weave in this end. Um, typically you'll have two. I actually crocheted over my other one, so I'm just going to trim that in a second. I like saving myself that extra step. Um, and I'm just going to go through a few of the stitches here, just like that. And then I'll take my scissors again and cut both of these ends. And there we go. There's our finished dishcloth. I love this pattern. It's so simple. It's so easy to make. Um, and of course, these will last forever. You can wash them in the washer and dryer. Um, and I mean, 
again they'll last forever they're so much better than store-bought dishcloths in my opinion um and it's so fun to just use the things that you make yourself so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check out all of the links in the description box below bye